Welcome to all of you. And really, that's the beauty of the Smart Automation Certification Alliance, commonly called SACA. It's industrial employers who have a need, in fact, a dire need for team members skilled in the ever-evolving field of advanced manufacturing. And they're working together to define what competencies are most important in current and new team members. And it's educators responding to the call, tweaking programs, modifying curriculum, adding learning systems, all in the spirit of creating industry 4.0 operators, technicians, and engineers who are job ready when they walk in the door for the interview and promotion ready when they sit down for their performance review. And that's more important in our current environment than ever before. Look, I spent a quarter century as a chief executive in manufacturing, and there's no doubt that the coming months will be challenging ones for our manufacturers with workforces and supply chains and customer demand all being disrupted by our current crisis. But this crisis will end. And when it does, manufacturing will roar back and it will roar back stronger than ever and more technical than ever and more automated than ever and more data driven than ever. So what wakes me up at five o'clock every morning is a mission to make sure that we secure the future of American manufacturing and in doing so secure the American dream for the next generation of industrial talent. So let's get started. Number one, for those of you that are new to the Alliance, new to the family that we call SACA, I want to provide a quick overview of what SACA is, why it exists, and what it does for industrial employers and those who seek amazing careers in industry. Second, for our folks, our new folks, but especially for our dedicated group of educators, industrial employers, and technical work group members who have been with us on this journey, I'm going to share some huge progress that SACA has made in recent months, launching new certifications and innovating its model. And finally, I'm going to ask that group to rise to the occasion once again and help us run the ball across the goal line as we astound our friends at SACA with pilot test results and provide our industrial participants with incredibly valuable information about their team members. So for starters, what is SACA? SACA is a nonprofit organization that is building highly affordable and accessible certifications that are focused on manufacturing and industry 4.0, the kind of technologies that you see on the screen at this moment. You know, I think back to my days in manufacturing and a candidate would apply for a job and come in for an interview claiming to have relevant knowledge and experience in advanced manufacturing, but it wasn't always so easy to know whether they truly had those attributes or just talk a good game. SACA changes all of that by assessing an individual's competencies and skills in a wide variety of advanced manufacturing disciplines and issuing a related certification. SACA helps the candidate establish their superior knowledge and ability, and it helps the employer know they are hiring a qualified team member. And this is true for brand new team members just entering manufacturing or an incumbent lifelong learning worker intent on demonstrating their knowledge and skill development. Some industrial employers are even weaving the SACA credentials into their progressive promotion and employee development processes. So as an overview, SACA offers four levels of credentials. The first four associate level ones would be appropriate for an entry level employee in advanced manufacturing. These credentials allow a candidate to showcase their skills and knowledge in areas like mechatronics, mechanical drives, fluid power, industrial controls, programmable logic controllers, industrial robotics and the industrial internet of things. And then in the middle here, there are three specialist level credentials, each with two levels that would be appropriate for a technician, perhaps aligned with an associate's degree program. And note that there are three different strands here, one for candidates that are focused on automation, one focused on production, and one focused on IT. I should also note that there's a whole bunch of micro credentials under each of these enabling learners, employers and educators to customize a credential to their own needs programs and their technologies. And finally, a professional level credential that would be appropriate for someone working as an engineer, perhaps in line with a bachelor's degree in engineering or beyond program. And here's the important thing. The competencies represented by these credentials aren't something Saka came up with. They were defined by some of the most recognizable names in manufacturing. And while the list includes companies like Boeing and Boston Scientific and Fanuc and Hershey's, employers who call the Midwest their home are extremely well represented as well. These include companies like Ashley Furniture, S.E. Johnson, Metalcraft of Mayville, Greenheck Fan, Plexus, Foxconn, Generac, Ameriquip, Sargento, Harley Davidson, Charter Steel, Aarons, Kohler, and Rockwell Automation. 
as American manufacturing moves toward Industry 4.0, the SACA credentials have been built around exactly what the companies leading us there are asking for. And finally, just a reminder that the certifications are free to any student whose school or employer is a member of the Alliance. And for the time being, anyone can earn the certification absolutely free of charge. And more on that in just a little bit. So now for some great updates for those of you who have been active in SACA for the last year or so. I talked earlier this week with Jim Wall. Jim is the executive director of SACA. Jim shared a few updates with me. First, he continues to see really strong interest in these pilot testing of the new credentials. We're going to talk more on that a little bit later, but this is great news. And while we still need more, we now have 103 organizations participating in the pilot testing. Based on the number of pilot exams expected in the coming months, Jim expects to release a full 10 of the 16 Specialist 1 micro-credentials in the automation systems area yet this summer. And that's in addition to the associate level certifications. So great news on that front. Uh, should also share that SACA has made accommodations that now enable candidates to complete online assessment from their homes. Time doesn't permit going through all of the details on that today, but in the current environment, this is a really, really huge development. And related to that, SACA is creating two tiers of credentials in light of the current crisis. The first is a silver level certificate for those candidates whose test results exceed the cut score for the written knowledge assessment, and then a gold credential for those that score above the cut score for the written assessment and also complete the hands-on performance assessment. And as hands-on performance assessments become more and more difficult to do, these two levels of certifications become really, really applicable in today's current environment. So plenty more going on at SACA right now, but those are just a few of the highlights. So now a little bit on pilot testing. And I have learned a lot about pilot testing in recent months. There's one example, and going back to my days in manufacturing, I insisted that every one of our plants was ISO registered. The reason I did that was that I knew that registration brought with it a level of forward thinking and discipline and credibility that made our companies better. I even took on our board of directors one time when a few of the members suggested the benefits of ISO weren't worth the time and investment that we were making in it. Well, I won that argument and we registered those plants too. So come to find out, there's actually an ISO standard for certification bodies. It's called ISO 17024. It deals with conformity assessment. And I'm proud to report that SACA Executive Jim Wall, Executive Director Jim Wall and his team are developing their certifications in alignment with the requirements of the standard. And pilot testing plays right into that. As Jim will tell you, it's one thing to come up with the certification and make up a bunch of test questions. It's another entirely to do the hard work of making sure those questions are precise and valid and unbiased in any way, and that they truly assess the applicable competencies effectively. So as I've learned in my 18 months as a SACA board member, that's a volunteer role, by the way, there's tremendous science, and it's really a science and a methodology behind this process. And it's time consuming, and it's expensive, but it's the right way to build a credential. So to get there, we need students, and we need learners, and we need teachers and instructors, and technicians and incumbent employees, their supervisors and others to take the pilot exams. They're really, really easy to launch. They take no more than 90 minutes and usually much less time to complete. And during the pilot period, the participant can earn a free SACA credential provided their score exceeds the cut score once it's set. But here's what else is in it for participating schools and industrial employers, and this is the best part. The exam results produce what we call a prescription for improvement, highlighting the competency areas in which the exam taker could benefit from training or from additional education. So let's take this as an example. This is a prescription for a pilot exam taker, test taker named uh, Robert. And as you can see, Robert took the certified industry 4.0 associate basic operations pilot exam. For reference, that's the one up here in the corner of the screen. Next, we can see that Robert took about 25 minutes to complete the pilot exam. Now you'd have to know the content fairly well to get through the exam in 25 minutes, but the point is we're not asking for people to invest significant amounts of time here. And now take a look at what information Robert's instructor or employer 
was able to gain from having Robert take the free pilot exam. The prescription for improvement here shows exactly where Robert can become even more proficient. In his case, it's areas like basic lean manufacturing, using a fire extinguisher, some things related to blueprints and drawings, conventional drawing tolerances, information blocks, GD and T, uh, interpreting pneumatic schematics, and then operating and adjusting a basic machine pneumatic component. So what better way to upskill a student or learner than to be able to identify specifically where their skills and competencies could be sharpened to make them an even stronger team member? While participants are welcome to take any applicable pilot exam, SACA especially needs our help in completing the following ones. All of these live in the Automation Specialist 1 credential. The first one is Variable Frequency Drive Systems 1. The second one is Motor Control Troubleshooting Systems 1. The third one is Programmable Logic Control Systems 1. And finally, Programmable Logic Control Systems Troubleshooting. Will you or your team members give Jim Wall and Saka maybe an hour of your time, likely much less, and take a few pilot exams? You get great feedback, information, and exchange, and you'll do your part in helping establish the credentials that have become the premier standard in Industry 4.0. So if you haven't already, launching your organization as a test site is really, really easy. A Google form that you complete in literally about 20 seconds. That form will be submitted to SACA, and a short time later, you'll receive an email inviting you to set up your account. From there, you simply choose the people in your organization that you want to participate, add them to the SACA test portal, and have them activate their accounts. Once they're activated, you simply manage their profile, assign the assessments, and your students go ahead and take the assessments, and that's really simple as well. All of this information is also on a YouTube video, and Sarah and the team at SACA are always just a phone call or an email away if you have any questions at all. So the call to action is to launch your organization as a test site if you haven't already done so, and have at least five of your teammates, your employees, your students complete a handful of the assessments. They'll earn the credential. You'll receive great data about where to continually improve your training or your curriculum and you'll be part of building the premier Industry 4.0 certification on the planet. And with that, let me close with this. I've been through four manufacturing downturns, each of them a little bit different than the one before, and this one is certainly different than the ones that came before it. But I do know this, we will get through the current crisis. And when we do, what we will need more than anything is a workforce that has the skills and the knowledge to be job ready for the automation robotics, and data-driven smart manufacturing that's coming as we reshore industry to the United States following the crisis. SACA plays a huge role in this, and all of you play an even bigger role. Together, let's get it right.